Good morning. I'm in Chick-fil-A getting a breakfast sandwich and some iced coffee which i'm a little nervous about the iced coffee because i feel like the last time i got iced coffee my precious beloved vanilla iced coffee from chick-fil-a it made me sick <sighs> we're just gonna pray on it okay thank you please mm, you know what oh good it's good this time i like it They did that today. They did that. Confession time. So like two summers ago, I got into a car accident. Put y'all seatbelts on. On the highway, on my way to work. And ever since then, I have had really bad highway driving anxiety. Like I will not get on the highway unless it's absolutely necessary to get on the highway. Like if I have no other choice, then I get on. But if not, I go to Google Maps and I switch the little toggle that says avoid highways and I put a playlist on and I toot 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 down the dog on the street. I am in therapy and one of the things that I have been working on with my therapist is actually working through some of my highway driving anxiety and the PTSD that I have from the accident. I have been learning that I can't control anything except for what I can control which is not much in life. I'm gonna push myself to go a little bit further today. Wish me luck. I thought it would be useful to share some of the tools that I use to work through my highway driving anxiety. Disclaimer, while I am a professional in many things, if you try out my advice and in the rare case that it does not help you, do not try and sue me because I never claim to be something that I'm not. Okay, great, let's get started. First in my toolkit is water. It's non-negotiable. I never leave the house without water. I also included coffee because it perks me up and just puts me in a good mood. You need your coffee. Next in my toolkit is my Apple Watch, which I use the Google Maps app and I use the haptic alerts to tell me when it's time to turn on my turning signal and turn instead of looking at my phone. Then I use a mid-vibe sort of playlist. It's not too hype, but it's not too drowsy. So you're somewhere in the middle, relax and chill for driving. Before I even start driving, I have to do the 4-8 breathing technique so that I can calm any anxiety before I hit the road. And now a word from our sponsor on the proper way to use the technique. 4-4-8 breathing technique is great to use when you feel stressed or tense because it can help to calm the nervous system, clear the head of distractions, and reduce stress. While sitting, breathe in through your nose for a count of four, taking the breath into your stomach. Hold your breath for a count of four. Release your breath through your mouth with a whooshing sound for a count of eight. Without a break, breathe in again for a count of four, repeating the entire technique three to four times in a row. Focus on counting when breathing in, holding the breath, and breathing out. Well, I made it. I'm at the mall. I'm very proud of myself i was calm it wasn't too chaotic for me it was kind of relaxing honestly there were a couple times where i was driving behind like a final destination kind of truck thing but i'm just like mm, get over pass them whatever and there were a couple times that people were like doing like 80,000 miles per hour on the highway but I'm just like mm, you know what they must be late for an appointment or something so y'all go ahead and get to where you're going since you're in such a doggone rush but I made it and I feel great I just saved myself like 30 minutes so what I'm coming to get hopefully they have it was out of stock at all the malls near me so I have to go outside of the city. I'm at a mall outside of the city to get what I want. If I hadn't have taken the highway and turned the highways off, it would have taken me over an hour to get here. It only took me like 28 minutes. So I feel like I'm, I'm winning, I'm winning. So I have to figure out where the store is and hopefully they have it. 
even if they don't I feel like I'm still winning I'm winning and I'm a Taurus so even if they don't have what I wanted I can find something to reward myself with that's not an issue that's not never been a problem for me up a sweat and then mom it was a success they had what i wanted let's do a little tiny mini haul right now okay first up on the menu what i came to get based off of what i saw on tiktok which is how i base a lot of my life lately but <clears throat> whatever are these really 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 cute powerpuff girl bracelets had to get one i just definitely have to get one because i actually did buy a powerpuff girls purse for my birthday as a birthday gift to myself a couple tour seasons so now it's gemini season last month and i saw those and i was like oh my gosh i have to get it i also got the matching necklace to go with them they did have matching earrings but i didn't get those earrings because hot topic is not about to break my ears out with their little five dollar earrings i've been to the doctor enough but since i didn't buy those earrings and everything was actually the jewelry was buy to get one off so i bought this sailor moon bracelet as well and then since i didn't get the matching earrings and i was just in the spirit of rewarding myself i went across to claire's and i bought these cute little tiny earrings which are 18 karat gold plated so hopefully they don't make me break out significant strides have been made in my life today and i'm very very proud of myself pat me on the back so what I'm gonna do now is obviously put on a bracelet because instant gratification I'm gonna put on the buttercup one first I also heard that people were wearing these as anklet bracelets which yes neon green for the summer gimme so putting on this buttercup bracelet and then I'm gonna hop back on the highway and I'm going to go home and continue with the rewards and have me a peach tea crown royal am i allowed to say that on youtube i'm gonna have me a peach tea cute love it love it love it it's giving it's giving but anyways i feel great because i hopped on the highway to get what i wanted and like that is super important because what if, and this is a scenario that could possibly happen, so roll with me on this one. What if Lori, when Lori Harvey breaks up with Michael B. Jordan, Michael B. Jordan calls me on the phone and is like, Ebony, I'm so sad. Why don't you just, let's, you know, I'm so sad. Let's go to the movies or something. Let's, I don't know, go for a drink or something. And then I say, well, Michael, I can't because I can't drive on the highway. That would be horrible. Like what kind of person would I be if I could not consult Michael B. Jordan because I have PTSD from an accident that happened years ago. So I'm proud of me. I just, I just am proud of me. And I really want to put on a Powerpuff Girls necklace, but the eczema. So I feel like I'm, I'm going to do another bracelet. One more. One more for good measure. And then I'm feeling this bubbles. Let's do bubbles. Even though bubbles is not my favorite. She's kind of annoying. In other Powerpuff Girls news, I'm also so glad that the CW has decided to wait on their show and redo the pilot for the Powerpuff Girls. I honestly don't think we need a live version 
story of every single thing from my childhood at all if we would just allow black people and other people of color and other people of other uh, I guess other groups access to storytelling in Hollywood and in the world the way that we do our you know white male creators then we would never ever 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 have to recycle or reboot a doggone thing I promise you guys if you guys don't believe me please give me 10 million billion trillion dollars so I can start my own production company and I bet you you'll never hear the words reboot from me ever I promise okay you'll hear the words Oscar you'll hear the words award winning you'll hear the words brilliant storytelling touching riveting exciting drama theater but you'll never hear the words reboot from me that's just a side note this is a side note i guess i should say it again like is this gonna become a thing for me but mission accomplished bye